Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. This is part two of the render settings fog tutorial. Now, here's where we left off in part one. We assigned variables so we could set our fog color for each weather state. We had a fog change speed. We enabled the render settings fog in our void start function set the fog mode and the density so with that said let's input the code into each weather state that is needed to actually change the fog color so i'm going to come to the bottom of the first one sunny weather here and what we're going to say is color and we're going to say underscore and we're going to give it a naming convention of underscore current fog color and it's going to be equal to our render settings fog color. We'll close the line off. And as always, into the comments. So we'll use the naming convention underscore current fog color is equal to the render settings fog color. And we'll come below here we'll go over this so we want to get before we can change to the sun fog we want to get the current fog color so we access the render settings fog color and we say whatever color it is is now has this naming convention underscore current fog color and now we'll input the code needed to change whatever this value is now to the sun fog so we'll come to the next line and we'll say render settings dot fog color is going to be equal to and we'll say color dot lerp and we'll open brackets and I'll just explain what the lerp function is. It interpolates between two values. So in this case we have a value which is our current fog color and a value we are going to be changing to which is the sun fog color but we don't want it changing in a blink of an eye we're going to change it slowly so there's going to be a numerous states that the color is going to exist in between this and what we're changing into the sun fog so that's why we use the lerp function now I really suggest you read up the documentation on the unity website about these sort of functions but that's the basics of how lerp works so with that said let's continue on with open brackets and we're going to say the current fog color comma the one we want to change into which is the sun fog comma by our fog change speed times time dot delta time we'll close the line off there and I've just forgot to close brackets at the end so we'll do that now close brackets just before closing the line off and as always into the comments so we'll say render settings fog equals and what we're going to say is, we'll, we'll put in brackets, we'll put change from current to some fog by fog change speed. And we'll close brackets there. So that's what we're basically saying, that the sum, that the render settings fog color is going to be equal to and it's going to start off equal to the current fog it's going to eventually be equal to the sun fog and it's going to do that via fog change speed and we'll save that off there and I'm sure you've guessed what we're going to do we're going to copy that block and we're just going to paste it in each one of the other 
weather state. So let's go through and paste them in first and then we'll go back and we'll change them. And finally for snow. So let's come back up to here's where we were, sunny weather. So the next one, thunder weather. This can be the same because we're getting whatever the current is and we just want to change it to underscore thunder fog and we'll change the comments and we'll just keep going through for mist fog and again in the comments and where are we the next one for overcast so we'll put underscore overcast fog and again in the comments and finally for snow so underscore snow fog and again finally into the comments there and we'll save that off there so this is how you change the fog color and we do so at a slow rate so if you have any questions about how these functions work please as always leave your questions in the comments below and I'll try to always to answer them as I said there's always documentation on the unity website which I always recommend that you read but uh, we'll leave it there for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now